So let's check this one. Offline purchase tree. I see. So you can do it with Shopify too, actually. You need to use uh, Zapier. Yes, yeah. Zapier, where you connect Shopify directly to Facebook offline. Yeah, that's what I was going to recommend right after. And then, but your way, you don't need Zapier, correct? Yes, that's right. That's right. But we use WooCommerce. Oh, okay. uh, we also the plugin, that plugin called UTM Handler. Let's check my order, one of the order, how this uh, information is coming from to from from facebook let's go back to down this is the order information blah 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 and and we, we go down and we see utm source uh, utm medium it's the placement from facebook the customer coming from for example mobile feeds or right column mobile feeds right column or facebook right column blah blah other things this and the awesome. utm content is the end that name actually so I know which campaign from the which ad set coming from, uh, the campaign name, and uh, the IP customer IP, and the client's agent. This means is the uh, the client using which browser? For example, iPhone or Android or Huawei or Google Chrome Windows. So we can see here. In this case, client use iPhone, uh, iOS. The 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 version is. 13.6 Yes And okay. iPhone 9 Is there iPhone 9? I'm not really sure <laughs> <laughs> And then how do you upload this RSS feed to Facebook? And the one more thing here This is much important than the client uh, The customer name or other things The Facebook click ID This is the very unique number It's giving the like We can say It's a non government Give you the identification number for your personal yes like, uh, ID this number is we, send, we also send it back to the server, uh, Facebook server wow. so we can do much, we can also do uh, using this plugin to send back Facebook service got it and this is similar to the Zapier integration with Shopify yes exactly but the one thing Zapier cannot do actually not cannot do they don't want it to do maybe because of the private schools the Facebook cheek click, they don't like the sense. Ah, and how did you, how, how does WooCommerce get the click ID? How does WooCommerce get it? Uh, because of that plugin, they call UTM handler. Oh. This, all the query string. Query string is after every, for example, x66.com. And then there is ever one <clears throat> curistic. Curistic means. The oh. So the Facebook is grabbing this. The, the plugin is grabbing this information. So I, I go ahead and then uh, create this parameter in here. And then when I click one ads, let's go to the inside my ad set. Oh, I think this one is broken. Let's go to the URL parameter. You see there, right? Yeah. I have a URL parameter, so I already put the, all the parameter. If I want more, I can write that. And where's the click ID? How do you get the click ID? You don't need to write click ID because click ID is uh, not cheap. Facebook is giving uh, already. Oh, Facebook gives it. Interesting, and it gives it to WooCommerce. Uh, not WooCommerce. They. Uh, every other people who is clicking to the your ads in the Facebook, they have an identification number, as like your uh, New Zealand government give you uh, the ID card. And is it in the number. URL? When they click on it, will it pop up in the URL for you to track? Yes, exactly. Correct. The URL, the must URL. So the, all of the thing is the, actually is the uh, coming from ah, the. Ah, got it. So the the Facebook click ID is in the master URL. Got it. And that Facebook click. Oh, very very cool. I just grab them and then send it back. And Not then, all software can do that uh, because they afraid uh, privacy things. Yes, and then how do you send it to Facebook using the app? Yeah, exactly. Oh. The, the app just connect. And then WooCommerce post back, and I just choose this one. Yeah. 
and then post, and then I use when I want to do uh, send this information oh. to complete because the logic is is someone paid already the order is already complete so I want to send right away and I click here which data I wanted to send billing email city Got country it. then how do you link this to your Facebook ad account like this. Oh, here. got it. And then 